Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Rad Rides. To the left of me is a very special car with legendary history behind it. Today we're going to be doing a review on this 2003 Mercedes-Benz G500, also known as the G-Wagon or Glenda Wagon. Originally invented as a car for military. Today many people use it as a status symbol and don't use it as it was originally intended to. However, the owner of this car is not like that. He has actually modified this car quite a bit and in today's episode not only we're going to be giving you a little bit of brief overview of this car as far as its history its suspension brakes wheels and also we're going to be driving this car towards the end but we're going to be telling you all about the modifications the owner of this car has done to this car as usual make sure to like share and subscribe that's one of the ways that gets our channel growing and i hope you enjoy this episode all right guys now let's talk a little bit about this 2003 mercedes-benz g500 and this beautiful bordeaux red metallic however before doing so i'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of mercedes and how they came about building the g-wagon g-wagon actually means glenda wagon or it means all trained vehicle it was a car that first was built on behest of the shah of iran he had was actually a stakeholder in mercedes-benz in 1976 was the first prototype of this car introduced however by the time that mercedes actually rolled out the first generation of g-wagon in 1979 the shah of iran was already deposed so there was other countries that were interested in this vehicle for their military namely argentina france and then later on obviously germany itself so mercedes built this g-wagon the first generation of g-wagon was built from 1979 all the way to 1990 in the city of Graz in austria by the company named magna steyr code name was w460 was utilitarian obviously military even police use it for uh, forest rangers use it and even the fire department used it and it, there was nothing really luxury or a uh, glitzy or a status type of symbol associated with this car now the second generation of mercedes-benz g-wagon that this car is actually part of was built in 1990 and it ran all the way to 2018 there were so many different varieties of mercedes-benz g-wagon that was introduced in this generation you had the two-door you had the four-door you also had a two-door convertible they were called the cabriolet you had a four-door convertible that was called the landolet those are over a million dollars then there was a amg versions of it if it was a g55 g55 with a supercharger uh, g63 which was a uh, v8 naturally aspirated or another g63 variation that was a five and a half liter v8 twin turbo there was also a g65 which was a 12 cylinder by turbo of this variation but over 740 pound feet of torque and 600 some horsepower and also another couple of interesting variations of this g-wagon one of them was g63 6x6 which was a monstrosity and about a million dollars of a of a car there was a g500 squared which is basically a g-class but jacked up with really really big i think 37 inch tires and even one of the pope mobiles was an all-white g-wagon so this generation of g-wagon that stopped being made in 2018 and it was replaced with a w 464 or the next generation of g-wagon it has been through a lot of variations now admittedly towards the late 90s and obviously early 2000s and so forth the g-wagon it became more of a status symbol the way it looked the price of it which is very high and also the way it drives it gives it a very distinguishing features now despite a lot of the g-wagon owners buying this car as a status symbol the owner of this car has actually wanted to make this car a true off-roader as it was originally invented so he has actually changed the suspension the wheels he has installed some roof racks some pod lights so he's done actually a decent amount of work to this car and he does actually take this car off-roading and another thing he's the owner of a very very well-known and independent and highly skilled mercedes-benz mechanic shop that actually is fixing my own c36 amg with that crazy turbocharger on it that i've been wanting to get back and get it back on the street so he was nice enough to let me review his car and today we're going to be telling you a little bit more about this car all right now let's talk about the engine of this 2003 mercedes-benz g500 this car comes with the same engine that is in the mercedes-benz s500 of the same era which is a 5.0 liter single overhead cam 24 valve engine it was making about 292 horsepower and 336 pound feet of torque and it's all made it into the ground via a five speed shiftronic uh, transmission and this car does a 060 in about eight seconds flat now if doing 060 
in eight seconds is too slow for you. There's a version of this car called the G55 AMG that has a 5.4 liter supercharged engine and it has about 469 horsepower and 515 pound-feet of torque and that does the 060 in about six to six and a half seconds. This car weighs 5,400 pounds and this car can actually tow 7,000 pounds as well. Now, the fuel economy of this car is 11 miles per gallon in the city, 13 in the highway for a combined 12 miles per gallon. Now, another fun factor about this car, it has a 25 gallon gas tank and the price of this car when it came out, it was about $73,000. Now, a comparable version of current G-Wagon, uh, G550, is about $160,000, $170,000 starting price. So you can appreciate the difference of prices of then 2003 and 2023, so 20 years later. Okay, right, now let's talk a little bit about the wheels, tires, and the suspension of this 2003 G500. The owner of this car has changed the wheels uh, from the original 16-inch wheels to 18-inch alpha-equipped grenade wheels. They're wrapped on Falcon Wild Peak tires. They're 265, uh, 65, 18s. As far as the brakes of this car, I know it has four-wheel disc brakes. The front have four piston calipers and the rears have a single piston calipers. And the owner of this car has modified the suspension a little bit and it has a two inch Dobinson spring lift along with Bilstein external reservoir shocks. All right guys, now let's talk a little bit about the interior of this 2003 G500. Let's start off right off from the door. Really like how you have the, all the power windows right here. They're one touch down, one touch up. You have the 10-way power adjustable seats. Even the headrest is adjustable with three memory settings. Even the steering wheel is powered and it's right here. Then this gray leather seats inside of this car, they're nice and comfortable. And once you sit inside of them, the way this car is set up, it gives you a nice commanding view of the road. Love this nice leather and wood steering wheel that you see on the side you have controls for your mirrors these are the the washers for the headlights and you got the settings for your light then right here you have the auxiliary beam switch controller for those lights outside for the light bar uh, the light cubes the side the rear uh, you have all of them basically right here so that's very nice and comfortable to put it right where you, the driver is and this car features a traditional mercedes-benz instrument cluster of the arrow you have your fuel gauge you have your speed and the odometer that you see this car is reading about 208,000 miles currently and you have your tachometer and also your gears are different gears are represented here coming to one of the most important things this is the differential settings for this car you have the center and you have the rear this is very very unique for a car to have and not that many cars in the market actually have this and then you got your heated seats for the driver and passenger you got a few other options too the rear wipers you got the hazards and also the car does feature a dual climate control and then you have your traditional gear knob i like how it's got the barrel wood on the bottom and it has the v8 but the star on the top and a couple of other things you got a little bit of more mixture of the wood you got places that you can put store your money and you got your you got your little arm set right here and it does have a lot of space in it and your handbrake is actually kind of unusual but it's on this side it's right here uh, i would think that mercedes usually puts the handbrake right there where your pedal feel is but right where your uh, foot pedal is but for this car they actually put it right here which is unique then you got a little cup holder right here and another cup holder right here now the owner of this car has installed an alpine head unit which is pretty nice and it has a even a backup camera once i put it in reverse so that's a nice you need that in a big vehicle like this and then right here is where your sunroof setting is and this is how the sunroof is you can actually open it up right there close it back up but it does have a nice sunroof and one of the things about this car is just the amount of headroom that you have i am five foot nine i have so much headroom guys this is uh i've never seen a car that has this much headroom so this is definitely a unique experience for me okay now let's talk a little bit about the exterior styling of this 2003 g500 this is a very boxy body on frame suv and 
everything about this car is kind of unique to it. You don't see too many of the characteristics of this car on other cars. For example, I like how they put the, the side markers on top and the owner of this car actually has a little guard on him. Also, for the headlights, he put those guards on him. You cannot mistake the front of this car with any other vehicle. It definitely is commanding. I really like how the hood of this car is, just the whole front fascia of this car is really nice. I like how the hood is kind of raised. Now, the owner of this car has put some kind of a wrap or graphics on it and uh, makes it a little bit more unique. The headlights are traditional round with the headlight washer right here. Obviously, you have the star emblem. You got a nice, decent size uh, grill to take in, suck in some air to cool down this uh, big V8. Coming to the front bumper of this car, the owner has installed some pod lights over here to give it a little bit of more illumination on the road. And we have the same pod light right here. Moving to the side of the car, then really, really nice profile. Again, it's very boxy. It's very uh, distinguished. Got these little side vents on the fender. Uh, you got this little molding about like a couple of inches sticking out. And I like how these wheels stick out a little bit. It gives it a more aggressive stance. And moving to the side, you got the V8. Some of the things to notice that you have these pot lights also on the front of this car, on top of the hood of this car and they are actually uh, yellow and it gives the car a little bit of a different color when you're driving at nighttime like these little stubby square side view mirrors then one of the things i really like about this car is when you open and close this door it just sounds like a bank vault this is really really solid built doors and i don't even know how much these things weigh but i'm pretty sure they weigh a lot another thing that's interesting even when the door is closed you can actually read the little tags inside of the door so the seams are kind of open it's definitely interesting and you can see the the hinges of the doors as well that tells you how old school this car is now right here we have the front rudder roof rack with some more side pot light led pot lights and it's a pretty nice uh, usable roof rack and even have some pot lights in the rear as you see and you also have a nice usable running boards on this car they're chrome they're a little bit faded but again the car is about 20 years old now one of the distinguished features of pretty much all the g-wagons including this one is a side exiting exhaust that you can see here now if this car was a G55 or G63, it will have a dual tip coming from this side and dual on the other side. And it does have a nice throaty sound to it. Take a listen. Come to the back of the car, you see the G500 emblem. And then the taillights even have a little bit of covering on them just in case something is about to hit it so it kind of covers it up then you got your reverse lights one and another one right here you got your tow hitch this car can actually tow 7,000 pounds another unique thing about this car is this chrome wheel cover that you see and also the owner of this car has kind of matched the back side of this wheel cover to the hood of the car i really like how the entrance to the rear gate is you got this actual door very simple you open it up and you come over here and um, you got even a door handle to open it up if you're sitting in the back the amplifiers for the stereo system are actually right here these are the Al alpine amplifiers and you actually have a decent amount of room as well and this car also have the arb air compressor for tire inflation and it's right here and you have a decent amount of room in the back of this car and uh, mercedes did actually a pretty good job and i like how the owner of this car has installed the little backup camera which is a must-have for this vehicle all right guys driving this uh, 2003 g500 it definitely is a different type of vehicle definitely the view of the road is a lot different you have this nice commanding view of the road it's very interesting definitely you're higher off the ground you can see things a lot better than let's say a 
passenger car. You can see your those really nice and cute corner lights that even have their own little guards on them. We're gonna take this G-Wagon on the freeway. Definitely the handling is not good. We're going on this little corner. So I'm doing only about 20 miles an hour. It does have a decent pickup if you do uh, need to give it some gas because it does have that V8 make it almost 300 horsepower. It is by no way or mean fast, but it does have a nice pickup to it. You can keep up with the traffic for sure. It feels different. You got this mixture of super off-road capability that this uh, truck has and even the current owner has uh, further modified and uh, some of them lot modern amenities. I mean, the seats are super comfortable. Uh, you got the power seats, as I mentioned, uh, power steering wheel. Uh, the AC is running right now. It's very, very nice and cool. Uh, you got a lot of, you know, things that you would expect from a Mercedes-Benz. Now, this car, when it came out, it was about $75,000 back in 2003. So uh, nowadays, a G-Wagon, a G550, is about 150 to 170 thousand dollars or slightly more that's why nowadays a lot of people that drive these g wagons they're basically meant as a status symbol and you can have your uh, cadillac escalade or range rover or you can have a g wagon the whole concept of this car is very interesting originally this car was meant to uh, be a military vehicle and then later years it became such a, a modern basically status symbol or even some mafias like russian mafia or if you're a very very wealthy person from the gulf region gulf countries you see a lot of these cars over there or obviously the areas with a lot of uh, pockets of uh, wealth in united states like california or new york or florida texas places like that now i did have an order for a g63 amg i canceled it things changed we got uh, different uh, types of cars coming in but i'm definitely thinking of either getting a brand new one or slightly used version because their prices are still pretty uh, high. Even the market has cooled down for the G-Wagons, but you still have a decent amount of markup on these cars. Yeah, it handles really well. The bumps, obviously this is not a racer, but I just love how it feels. It's a, it's a very nice, comfortable feeling. Uh, and this car has a two inch lift, as I mentioned. It has a little bit of those knobby tires. Uh, but it still feels pretty nice and good and it's got 208,000 miles now obviously the owner of this car is a operates as the owner of a very well-known mercedes uh, benz independent shop but uh so i'm sure he will take care of every little thing that this car has but it's uh, it's just still very nice to see the car uh, with 208,000 miles it's running very smooth uh, i don't hear any noises or anything like that besides that you know roof rack that uh, that's that's pretty obvious but uh it's it's very nice 